upgrading what will serve as a temporary shelter. For now, the signage is gone, but city crews were seen power washing the floor as repairs and upgrades continue. It's in pretty bad shape, but we are determined. Uh, the city of Harlingen is resilient. We have really great staff and they have been working nonstop. And, and the idea is to get it to where we can feel comfortable that our citizens can come into the shelter to adopt, to foster, to you know volunteer. We want to be able to be accessible. City leaders hope and anticipate the Markowski location will be open within the next two weeks. Well, you have until next Wednesday to pay your 2023 property taxes. That's the last day taxes can be paid without penalties. You can pay online or on the county's website or by mail. Mail payments are considered timely if it's postmarked by January 31st of this year. We have more information on valleycentral.com. Well, most of us love music in all forms, but sometimes aren't really in the mood for a loud concert. Instead, maybe we're looking for more of a classic performance to sit back and enjoy. Well, if that's the case for you, Danielle's got just the invite for us. <laughs> I know, Adam. I mean, sometimes you're in the mood for a big, you know, pump and concert. Yeah. Sometimes you just want to sit back and take it in, right? In the mornings, we want that music <laughs> blasting. At the end of the day, we want to relax. You're so right. Yeah. And for that relaxing part, I got you covered. Got it. Okay, so basically, Adam, we are talking about a beautiful classic performance. In the Upper Valley by none other than professional Mexican-American operatic, uh, operatic uh, soprano singer. Well, that's a tongue twister. It's still in the morning. Barbara uh, Padilla. You guys, now she was actually a runner-up on the fourth season of the hit TV series America's Got Talent. And she's also the survivor of Hodgkin's lymphoma. So a very inspirational public figure for sure. And guess what? Uh, the Guadalajara native is making way to the Rio Grande Valley for an incredible night of classic music entertainment. Now, this show is going to be a chance for attendees to witness the sounds of the violin, the flute, brass, clarinet, harp, the cello, the percussion, the trumpet, and the beautiful piano. It's all mixed into one unique lineup on top of vocals like none other. She sings great. It's going to be a formal, very relaxed evening, music magic. It's going to help you ease on into the state of appreciation for all things opera. Now, this is family friendly, okay, so you can certainly bring the kiddos on out, introduce them to opera, and it's a great way for them to learn this genre of music. It's a great event also for everyone in our community to head on out there and enjoy. Now, it's going to be happening next Monday, that's the 29th, and the show is going to start at 7.30 p.m., so make sure to make plans on heading on out there to the McAllen Convention Center so that you do not miss out. You guys, wait, uh, before you move on, <laughs> okay. before you, you even say floor. anything, yes, opera concert, yes, for those viewers at home that don't know, <laughs> I know, where, I know, I think I know where you're going with this. I don't know if you know this. No, Danielle I don't think so. Danielle is an opera student. And, like, she's got a degree in <laughs> opera. You're joking. I, really? This is, this is fact. That is, I knew he was going. I had to. I was hearing you say wow. all this stuff. I'm like, Danielle, are you performing with Miss Padilla? Oh, what an honor that would be. Right? Just call me. Call so, me. because you're such a pro, you know, tell me about what we can expect here. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You're right. I actually do have a bachelor's degree, guys. It's yeah. split between chorus, opera, and piano. So, I do have formal formal training in opera. <laughs> I know. So cool. Oh, wow. And I'm just kidding. Oh, oh I'm yeah. ready. I was going to ask her, but I don't want to put you on the spot. I'm going to let you okay. warm up for this hour, Thank and then in the 6 o'clock <laughs> hour, we'll get a sample. Yeah, for now, tell me what you think about this event while I, you know, rest my vocal cords. <laughs> oh, my God. No. <laughs> <laughs> you were excited when you heard that this was going to be part of our yes, show today. Yes, I'm very excited. I do appreciate the art, yeah. and so I'm a big fan of the opera, the orchestra, the ballet. Yeah. Wow. Now, I've never been to the opera in person. I've seen videos, of course, yeah. like on YouTube, like I'll put it on, but I've been to um, the orchestra and I've been to a ballet, so I, I'm really looking forward to going to the opera, yeah. and it's in McAllen. Yeah, it's perfect for you. Yeah, it yeah. Really is. I'm awesome. going to look into it. Now, it really does sound like a great time. It really mm -hmm. does. And you you are, of course, always a fan of yeah. music education. And supporting and just, local, you know. like local oh, yeah. music and yeah, anything that we can do, um, especially someone like Miss Padilla that's yeah. overcome, you know, some mm -hmm. obstacles so as well. Many, yeah. That's super cool. I know. This yeah. is awesome. Yes. I'm so happy. Well, thanks for bringing us the information, and we'll check in with your opera singing in the next uh -oh. hour. All right. Me, 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 me. All right. Well, can seeds grow in space? One research lab is trying to give that a shot. We'll find out what they decide.